boy. Uh, did he pick Garrus again? He picked Garrus, yeah. Interesting. Wow, well, so I'm guessing he's running the whole tournament with Garrus and not picking Jax at all. Maybe it's um, his new name. Possibly, I mean, definitely a good pick, right? Um, not saying that Jax is a bad character by any means. You can definitely play just Jax in this game, I feel, and do very, very well. However, Garrus, you know, one of the characters that even bad matchups with this character, you can just win like that because two crushing blows, you basically run around. What are these bad matchups? What are Garrus' bad matchups? Uh, Kotal Khan. <laughs> Devorah. <laughs> Uh, they're, the, they're definitely the two big ones, for sure. Well, that's the, collectors are 5 five. Yeah, Collectors are 5 five, but you know, that's still pretty difficult. <laughs> I'm just having a look through the bracket, I don't see him. Yeah, I can't see him using Jax at all, so he's used Garrus. Yeah, the whole tournament through. Interesting. I'm challenging with a down one after. Like, you're not class, you should not be able to challenge with a down one. <laughs> Nice throw escape. And the down two steals the round. Yeah, so good stuff. Alright, so boy, his Garrus is doing it. And this is the third or fourth fight. time we've seen Garrus versus Scorpion in this top eight. Yeah, this is a common matchup um so far. Well, it's interesting because I was actually talking about this not too long ago, it's the WAD, and I was saying how we don't really have any Garrus players. And then all of a sudden, Z Prime, all of a sudden boy. I mean, definitely a good character to pick up, for sure. Oh yeah, you're not picking up bottom five, <laughs> you're picking up gear. Yeah, exactly. Just the, the, the sheer presence on the screen. Ooh, nice to work. Ooh, just a cheeky Ooh. jab to the face. And That's it? Blow. That'll blow. Yeah. Yeah. Can't get away from that one. But this scales a whole, I think this is it, but it scales a whole bunch. That fatal blow did 17 damage. 17%. Yeah, 17%. Mate, that's, that's more than a Jade bread and butter, alright? You're scoping at 17%, but you gotta remember Jade back here doing 12% on a bread and butter. I main Jackie and Sonya though, so. Whom tickling their opponent to death? <laughs> it's not tickle, it's a wiggle stick. It is a wiggle stick. A tickle stick? Uh, nah. No. Right, <laughs> Backtrack that, that one. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Yeah. Alright, we'll just pretend I never Scorpion. said that one. So we're seeing Gears vs Scorpion again. He's gonna stick with Scorpion, stick with the Reborn variation. I know he uses Searing Rage, but this variation is largely agreed upon to be the better one. That Teleport Cancel is just so strong. Yeah, Reborn... It's just the non-commitment factor. Because mm. you can, we're, you were talking about hit confirming earlier, right? But some strings, some normals are so Red difficult to hit fight. confirm because you have such little cancel windows that it's so difficult to realize this hit or made them block. And then you can't really cancel and you can't really hit confirm that well. With mm. Reborn Scorpion, that does not happen because you have these additional cancel no frames because you can cancel the teleport, which you're always doing, block or hit into the teleport cancel, uh, which is later into the teleport move, so you've got those additional frames there confirm. So it's just a lot less committed as an option, um, which is why you know, the variation is so, so, so strong. Hmm. Exactly. I mean, of course, it does take one of your defensive stamina, so you risk you risk not having it after you use your weapon. But it's still very, very strong. Yeah. Is this it? Is he going to spend a second meter? Damn, boy. He doesn't even need to. 364 damage. Yep, My that's one of our... That's a regular B&B. Yep, that's ends right. Mate, that's almost Sonya damage. No, Sonya damage, Son damage is like 404. Yeah, that's almost Sonya damage. See? Buff Sonya. <laughs> she, needs, she needs it. And I don't think I've ever seen Nikki play a different character. I know he plays, um, he does play several other characters, but he, he likes to stick with Scorpion. Scorpion's his boy. It was his boy in MKX, even though he didn't play that much. It's just, it's just who he likes, really. Who he feels more com most comfortable. 
I'm definitely not sure if this is playstyle because he's definitely more of an impressive playstyle uh, player in the, our region. So I think Scorpion, just the way the character kind of forces the lack of neutral in the game, I think it's a really good pick for him. Because he can just close that gap whenever he wants. An immediate teleport cancel, he's closed the gap into that strike throw mix up. Uh, and he's just, yeah, basically Final round. gone right Fight. to where he's comfortable as a player. It's a full screen neutral for this one. And on top of incredibly good 50 Ooh, no punish. And you saw again Nikki whipping out that neutral dark. So he does strings, basically what he does is he does like a full committed string. Uh, and then he'll do a slight neutral dark for a split second that will be low for immediate stand one, right? Mm. Or, or like high string, and then he'll do uh, immediate stand one afterwards. That either A, we punish a throw, or we punish a normal, a high normal. Mm. It's a very effective tactic, he's used it a lot. A lot of new steps to him. Yeah. Nice throw tech, boy. He's still mm. not out of this one yet. Whoa, Ooh. gets another throw escape. Alright, boy. You got this. Oh, big. No, big oh, win. No, nothing. Oh, and he oh, okay. gets the forward throw. A nice use of the forward throw there rather than the back throw because his back is in the corner. Most players' reaction. Um, as soon as you have your opponent's back to spawn it, it's to tech back throw option. So majority of the time, the player is wanting to reverse, uh, you know, the situation, the stage positioning, um, and put your back to corner. However, smart by Nikki realizing all he needed was the damage from the throw, not so much the stage positioning, opting for the forward throw in that scenario and catching Boy, uh, who was teching back throw with that escape fail popping up on the screen. And, um... As you mentioned before, Giris gets Oki off both of his throws because they put him at the perfect range. They put him in the range of just a strike or a throw, or so you can loop them. However, Scorpion's forward throw is the throw that gives him. So if he's got his back to the corner, he has Oki off both of his throws, right? Because he either chucks you in the corner for corner Oki, or he puts you mid screen, but in close enough range that he gets the strike throw mixer. So very useful tactic for him to use there. Round one, fight. And it'll be interesting to see if we see Boy stick with Gears for the entire set. So he's, he's still 1-1, one, one. still did very well that round, but I just... Oh, I don't know about that one, Chief. That was a uh, block confirm. <laughs> uh, I don't know about a block confirm. I think it's a it. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely just dialed it. Happens to the best of us. You feel in a certain kind of way and you're just doing special immediately. Mm. Whoa! That anti was from downtown. That was crazy. Here we go. We're seeing Boy now really relaying that Vortex gameplay that Garrus definitely thrives in. It's either a throw Vortex or his Vortex. Ooh, another throw. <laughs> and anything will take it out now, so he just goes, he can just go for the, 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 the strike. <laughs> And I think that's a smart option because before we saw Nikki against Gilbags realize that scenario and Nikki constantly, constantly, constantly neutral ducking. So it's smart for Boy, not too sure if he's using that prior knowledge watching Nikki's matches earlier or if it was just his decision making then. Either way, it's a very good decision to make. For sure. But now he's got his back to the corner and Nikki's got the pressure going. Yeah, nice blast frame from the 2 1 2 string, no interrupt. Getting the side switch now. Sand trap, what's the Oki? Ooh, good punish. So you saw he waited, he waited That's just it. enough to make sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what that was, maybe it was just flexing for a second. Boys feeling a certain kind of way. So, if you charge that up, his down 2 gets more strong. As does his just punch, right? So. A lot of a lot of heroes has don't, but you should theoretically be charging that up whenever you have the opportunity. It's true. Although you don't get much of an opportunity versus Scorpion. No. So every chooses he's in. We talk about that 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 comeback. That was a sick comeback. That uh, was like I, like I don't know, it was kind of awkward in a sense that I feel like Boy had the opportunity to win. It was just too like Two instances where he had the timing to take his turn and he just picked the wrong option to take his turn and then Nikki was just fortunate enough to win the scramble that followed. Um, you know, he got clipped while trying to jump out and got a punish on the 2-1-2 two, two string, so... Yeah. <laughs>
Fair and balanced. <laughs> Alright, 364 damage, nice. Oh, immediate breakaway. Doesn't have that defensive meter now, so he can't use the interactables. Yeah, so I'm, I'm so upset. I don't think you're gonna I'm, see them. I want to see them so badly. Didn't have the defensive meter just yet. To extend that couple with second bar. And that's gonna take it. No defensive meter. And nice! Come back to Nikki. That was now, a quick reverse. Yeah, that, that last round was very, very quick for Nikki. And before then, I was, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, it's, it's just happened so many times in this in this tournament top eight so far, where I've been, where I've almost been ready to be like, yep, that's it, count him out. And then the comebacks, it's just, I'm yeah, not prepared for it. Happening every single time as well. It gets to that, like, that, that kind of life deficit where you go, the comeback is possible, but very, very unlikely. And then three yeah. times, I think we've seen it now in a row um, in this top eight, where the yes. massive comebacks are just happening time and time again. Mm. So we see him stick with Gears. We thought he would. Like, not a not a big surprise there. Yeah. Guess guess we won't see the Jacks for this tournament. <laughs> I think um a lot of players today, uh like I don't know because I haven't been speaking to the players myself throughout this top eight because obviously you and I have been commenting the whole time, but it seems like a lot of the players are just trying to feel out Round alternate one. characters Fight. and ultimate mm. matchups. So we saw Gookie doing the same thing, we saw Solid Snake doing the same thing with Cassie Cage, and now we're seeing Boy do the same thing with Ngaris and Z Prime earlier as well. So I feel like people are just trying to test out secondaries, which is this is the perfect time to do it. You know, us Australians, like we were saying before, geographically this first area don't have the most opportunities uh, to get exposure to a tournament setting. So this is the perfect type of format to test out your alternate characters. Yeah, it's just enough competition that you know everyone's trying as you know as hard as, as hard as they can, but not so much that you're like. Yeah, exactly. Although, although that ticket away and wait. That you're gonna be given. Oh, that was counter hit. Nah, it wasn't a counter hit. Might as well have been though. Jeez, that's gonna be a chip out. Nah. Yeah, last round. Minute twenty was died. Only a real oh, master. Yeah. Mash down one. Oh, I mean, he's playing Gears, you could just mash down one in. Fight! I'll do mash it no matter what. I'll be honest. Oh, I would, I would do mash. Mash potatoes, mash peas, mash carrots. Oh. Big jump in. This is gonna be juicy damage once the breakaway comes, which it does. Okay, the down one wake up, disrespecting, and every single time Boy's been interrupting that, but he has not been converting afterwards. So he needs to be a bit more uh, reactive in that scenario. Realize that he had to be interrupted from down one because he's making the you know, conscious decision to press a button there that he can't possibly get a follow up if uh, he gets a correct read. Yeah, but we've also seen, by the same token, we've also seen Scorpion like stagger that string and then down three or down one in between. So it's. You can't just mash down one wheel really and it's not worth it. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Although that definitely went good. Oh, the brutality. That one is gross, dude. I've never seen that one before. What? Are you serious? I've never seen it before. Where is that a launch brutality? Is that a launch brutality? No, it's the sand trap. Yeah, but was that one that was available from launch? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the requirement? Just hit it? Just kill. Yeah, just kill with it. Oh. No, I've never seen it. Yeah, Maybe it's because like I haven't spent it. enough time in the crypt to unlock everything. It's the dangling eyeball that just gets me every time. So, uh. Oh, see, I've just come off, um... Scorpion. I've just come off, um... Uh, bariatric surgery, so nothing gets me. Damn. The hourglass. Yeah. This is, this is, this is tame compared to the blood and guts we see in real life. The blood and guts. So now we have it all tied up, right? This is the this is the final deciding match. Two this two. Is game five. This is the mm. only what second game Round five that we've seen in this top five. eight that's come through. Every yeah, a lot of them been... a three zero or a three one. Yeah, a lot of them have been quite uh like steamrollery. Yeah, and even yeah, yeah. even the other one sided. Even the other three two, the first three two we saw, that was kind of like a um boy had the first two games quite convincingly, and then Waz just shot back and then he had the, the next three games. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. So, so it's been kind of like one way or the other, really. 
Oh my Ooh. lord, Nikki going back to his grassroots, doing the neutral ducks on wake up, picking his moments beautifully, getting the correct read, but no, now he's getting meaty. Is that forward two going to be a juicy damage? No, the breakaway. Wow, well, trying to press buttons on wake up. Ooh, Nikki has it. It. the meter to extend. Yes, it's surely it. No, drop it. Nice. 364 damage. It's just off, off, off a stream that's that strong Round in the two. corner. It's just, yeah, it's very good damage. It's, it makes me feel like that Brontosaurus in the back. Uh, he might. Garrett might be up there. I'm sure. Might, might be. I don't know. Perhaps. And wow, yeah, damn. Now we're seeing Boy kind of run his train on mm. Nikki. Nikki refusing to block those four twos. Another neutral duck. But you see that hesitation now coming from Nikki, right? Where I think he's been, oh my word, just as I said it, right back to it. Another neutral duck into his 1 1. No so opportunity to break as so well. well. Right. A little back step just with Punish that 4 2. Yeah. He's going to cash out his damage now while he can. It's a... it's got fatal blow. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna. Oh, yeah, yeah break blow. Yeah. Will this be death? I'm not too I sure. Know. He got the skull. Does three man. So yeah, I think that is death. And yeah. And boy, eliminates Nikki from the tournament. Nikki falling down at fourth place in today's tournament. And boy will now find himself in the losers finals up against Oddity.